بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك العليم الحكيم My topic today is about bowel wall thickening I, I will represent some Causes of bowel wall thickening from the literature, from the radiographic journal. Here we see CT scan obtained with intravenous contrast material and with water, and we see normal wall thickness and with enhancement. Here is another patient with CT scan obtained after intravenous contrast and I oral contrast and severe wall thickening in the patient due to Crohn's disease. Here is a CT scan obtained after intravenous contrast and oral contrast and we see both distension of the cecum here with thickened wall. Associated in patient with uh, wall uh, with trauma patient C belt injury as we see here standing on the subcutaneous tissue bilaterally. Here we see another patient with uh, fatty halo as we see it is here in patient with ulcerative colitis and the patient has uh, oral contrast material and we see here this is the lumen and this is the fat deposition in the submucosa and we, we call this sign fat hello sign here is a patient with pneumatosis after bone marrow transplantation and the patient receiving steroids. And we see the pneumatosis in the subcerebral mural air. and also here and also here here another patient with target sign obtained after intravenous contrast and water and we see the target sign here and thickening and the small thickening of the small bowel here also and some stranding of the uh, of the mesentery and also here here we see the sign we call it accordion sign it is the CT scan is obtained after intravenous and water and we see the contrast is a trap between the markedly thickened hostile folds 
as we see here and this we call accordion sign and this also there is a stranding of the mesentery and thickening of the peritoneum layers here this is another patient with the Crohn's disease with comb sign and this CT scan is, is obtained after intravenous contrast and oral contrast and we see this is the comb sign due to engorgement of vasa recta associated with thickened of the small bowel. Here is another patient with the thickening of the small bowel wall. We call this sign toothpaste sign in patient with the chronic versus in a graft, in a chronic graft versus host disease, and the patient and the CT is obtained after oral and IV contrast and we see the thickened wall here and the target wall target wall sign is here and there is some stranding of the mesentery here this is a patient with uh, called the disease gay power syndrome in homosexual teenager and we see some thickening of the uh, wall of the colon here sigmoid colon after uh, oral and IV contrast due to infection with herpes simplex associated with some lymphadenopathy here, this patient with pseudomembranous colitis due to cholesteridium difficile infection and CT scan obtained after oral and IV contrast material and we show shows here a chronic wall thickening trapped of oral contrast material between the edematous hostile faults. Here we see a patient with uh, uh, renal disease with uh, increased echogenicity of the cortex comparing to the uh, liver and here we see some thickening of the bowel wall and this patient has hemolytic uremic uh, syndrome from E. coli infection. Here we have patient, we have a duodenal hematoma and the CT scan is obtained after oral and IV contrast and as we see here marked thickening of the duodenal wall and some free fluid here with the stranding Here we see hypoperfusion complex in patient with history of trauma and we see the water is attenuated, markedly attenuated, and the IVC is also attenuated and hyper enhancement of the bowel wall associated with ascites. Here, this is CT scan after oral and IV contrast in patient with lymphoma with intersusception. And the right-sided intersusception contains mesenteric fat as we see here. And this is the, also the intersusception in patient with lymphoma. Here, another patient 
with patient with uh, CT scan exerted after intravenous contrast material and oral contrast material and shows enhancing mass in the in on the right side with enhancing wall due to just the tumor gastrointestinal estrobal tumor here another patient with mesenteric in your fibroma here this patient with CT scan after oral and IV contrast due to hemangiomatosis and here this patient with adenocarcinoma of the colon and we see the markedly thickened colonic wall with small lymph node on this side here another patient with the lymph with Langerhans histocytosis uh, manifested with the thickened bowel wall of the jejunum. Here is another patient with thickening wall due to hypoproteinemia patient with chronic renal failure. Thank you for listening. Hoping to see you soon in another talk.